Welcome to our demonstration on Data Services Manager. In this demo, we're going to look at the initial setup. We'll also create our first infrastructure policy. So the first thing is, where do I get Data Services Manager? Well, it's available on the support portal. If you go to My Downloads, you'll see a VMware Data Services Manager section. And within that VMware Data Services Manager section, you should be able to go and select a release and then select whether you're doing an update or a, an initial deployment. And you can see there's the virtual appliance is available there. So once you get the virtual appliance, it's a, a matter of installing it via the client plugin section. And when you complete the client plugin section for DSM, you also get a DSM appliance. So with that, we also extend the vSphere client to include data services manager components including the ability to build an infrastructure policy. Now to build an infrastructure policy, you do need a few additional components such as an IP pool. So let's build the IP pool now. And it's nothing more than a range of IP addresses that can be used by the data services to get network connectivity. We ship with a number of t-shirt sized VM classes. You can see them there, but you can absolutely go ahead and build your own VM classes for different sized VMs as well for your databases. We do need to create a permission. We need at least one, which is the DSM admin role. Just give it an, an email address and a password. And that's pretty much it. You're now ready to go ahead and build your infrastructure policy. There are other things such as integration with LDAP, and trusted root certificates we'll come back to later, which add additional security to connections to DSM. Give the infrastructure policy a name. We select the compute section, could be a cluster or a resource pool. We select the storage through a default policy selection or storage policy selection. We select a port group, must be a distributed port group and associate the IP pool we created previously with that. Where are we going to store our VMs in the infrastructure? Select a folder there, select the VM classes, and that's pretty much it. You've now built your first infrastructure policy. So with that created and with the permission created, we can now go and log in to the DSM portal using the permission we had previously. So there you can see there's a few additional steps that we need to take care of. Obviously, setting up the storage for backups, for logging. So we just populate the storage settings as follows, pointing to our object storage. Now, in this case, the object storage has been configured with a root CA, which we do not have in our root certificates. So what we need to do is retrieve that from the object storage, and we need to add that CA, that certificate of authority, from the object storage into our trusted root certificates of DSM. And with that done, we can return to our storage settings, and now we can begin to configure the external storage once more. And this time, all going well, create the repo, it is successful. We'll do the same thing for the logs, create that. And the last bucket or storage that we need is for the database backups, not the provider backups, but the database backups. And there we have it. Everything is now configured. Go to versions and upgrade, just do a check. And then if we have a look in data services, which is the other tab under version and upgrade, we can see that we have our database images or our data service images. And we simply enable those like so. And now we're able to create databases with DSM. So that completes the demonstration. Thank you for watching this first in a series of demos on VMware's data services manager. Thank you for watching.